Guten Tag, meine Freundin. I am Werner Herzog, acclaimed filmmaker and voyeur poet. Today we will examine perhaps the most enigmatic of all human emotions, love. Here at the Red Lion Tavern, my favorite in Los Angeles, we will investigate the current manifestation of man's quest for love, speed dating. It is only fitting that in today's fast food culture, man's search for romantic meaning be reduced to five minute interviews with random members of the opposite sex. Many would decry the superficiality of this method, but I believe the vulgarity is healthy and safe. Hello, hello, I am Bjork. Do you see there are windows and people are looking at us? Joining me on this journey to give a feminine perspective is fellow Nordic artist Bjork. How are you? What is that? I cannot see it because there is a bird on my chin. I'm really into a, a lot of uh, kind of outdoor activities. Yes. Biking, hiking, mountain climbing. I made a film about mountain climbers. Great. But they all died. How did they die? It was an avalanche. Death takes us all eventually and we all succumb to it despite all of our flailing about and our petty distractions. Look. Hello, my name is Bjork, and you don't have to talk loud because I have very large ears today. Okay. Yeah. What do you do? I, uh, I'm an in engineer. Engineer? One time I constructed a television out of two candles and a glass of milk. I don't think that would happen that way. Am I the Okay. Good. Would you like to hide? No. Yeah, you are serious like a trapper keeper. I'm Bristol. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. H have you have you been married? Yes. Oh. Yes. I was married and uh, it was uh, tempestuous and uh, we uh, respected one another. Um, even when we were planning each other's murder. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. I am a singer and a dancer, and sometimes I am an animal translinguist so that I can help the bears and the dolphins discuss politics and dreams. Uh, no, that doesn't make any sense, actually. I speak the languages English and Icelandic and potato. Well, I don't think potato is a language, it but is. I... If you crawl into a potato field late at night, you can hear them whispering to each other. Those are bubbles. Oh, all of them just died. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to be proactive and just say that I am definitely looking for a happy person, um, someone who's a giver. I'm also a giver, but someone who has a smile on their face more than 50% of the time. I don't know too much about that because happiness is not something that has ever agreed with me. If you were at a party, I, I guess, what do you like at a party? I like gatherings of people, but usually it is uh, related to the work I do. Oh, like, like rap parties and... Yes, yes. Those are funny. But sometimes something breaks down, a chainsaw runs out of gasoline, what? and maybe have a nice meal, some lamb, and uh, Do you like, applesauce. Wait, why would you have to chainsaw trees down? That might not have come out the way that I it's, wanted it you're to. You're a great it. person. Thank you very much. This was... Um, How old are you? I am 48 years old. It is because every morning I wake up and eat a bowl of glitter, and cinnamon and a chocolate shake. Do you cut your hair or does it only grow to that distance? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna Are you, no, you don't have, do you want to fall in love? Yes, I want to fall in love. And I do not like this. Nobody here is fun, it is not playtime. Could I have misjudged the seed of human relationships? I'm going to hide in my dress. It seems they are not in search of an existential connection. It seems more that everyday common interests, no matter how banal, prove more exciting than ecstatic truth. It smells like candy in here. 
This is worse than a game of Monopoly with no pieces. You have paid for the entire afternoon, so I suggest you drink. They don't have chocolate milk and they don't have maple syrup. There is nothing for me to drink. This last ex that I had, total nightmare. I mean, I believe that you should really like walk through fire for someone. I mean, I'm willing to like lose a limb, you know? Yes, I think we have reached a common experience here. There was a friend, Lottie Eisner, that I had who had suffered a massive stroke and she was in Paris. And I got on the phone and I said, you will not die until I reach you. But I did not take a plane, I walked. I walked for weeks and she did not die. But she eventually did die many years later. OMG, so sweet. I mean... Your hand is cold. I know, my hands get cold when I get nervous. Are you nervous? You don't seem to be. This is going... <laughs> this is going well. This is the best uh, time I've had today. Mm, I love that mustache that you have going on. It's really... It's a, it's a great look. That whole mustache thing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. See you later. It was very Bye. nice to... Um... This is not much fun. I don't like it here. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me either. My name is Bjork, and I am friends with a walrus and a bear. My name's Richard. I'm a bear. Really? Yes. Do you have a honey pot? Yes, in my car. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a cloud. You drive a cloud? I drive a moon cycle. Stop it. What are you doing? You have really pretty nostrils. You have really pretty earlobes. <laughs> I'm finished. I don't need to date anyone else. I'm finished too. The human heart. Who can explain its mysterious chemical dance? For some, the romantic connection is immediate and significant. For others, destiny lies elsewhere. My soulmate is out there somewhere. I will find her. impossible landscapes to be here and to find you. My heart is full and I will tell you everything. But first, I must tell you this. I...